Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you. Psalm chapter 52. Psalms, the book of sacred songs in the Bible and the Here to See channel always focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Psalms a chapter at a time and doing a here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now let's read and listen Psalm chapter 52 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app and then I'll share my here journal with you. Psalm 52 Why do you boast about your crimes, great warrior? Don't you realize God's justice continues forever? All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cuts like a sharp razor. You're an expert at telling lies. You love evil more than good and lies more than truth. You love to destroy others with your words. You liar! But God will strike you down once and for all. He will pull you from your home and uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, look what happens to mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more and more bold in their wickedness. But I am like an olive tree. Thriving in the house of God, I will always trust in God's unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust in your good name, in the presence of your faithful people. And now is Psalm chapter 52 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now, for my hair journal. First the highlight, Psalms chapter 52, verses 6 to 9. The choir director of Psalm of David regarding the time Dog the Edomite said to Saul, David has gone to see Ahimelech. Verse 6, The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, Look at what happens to mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more bold in their wickedness. But I am like an olive tree, thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God, unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust your good name in the presence of your faithful people. So, what's my explanation? David the psalmist said, that the righteous will see what happened to the wicked and be amazed. David said that he was like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. He said that he would always trust in God's unfailing love in the presence of God's faithful people. But we know that he did fall to sin with Bathsheba and in killing her husband. He did later repent and was forgiven by God. So, what's the application for us today? We know there is no desirable future for sinful people. Like David, we must be seekers of God's own heart. We must surround ourselves with fellow believers and walk faithfully and obediently following the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. 1 John 1, 7, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1, 3, That which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For 
where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. 1 Corinthians 1.9 God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24-25 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, for what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness, or what fellowship has light with darkness? Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation. Thank you for the fellow believers that you have placed in my life. Help me to encourage them as we encourage each other to be all that we can be in you. I diligently strive to follow you faithfully and obediently, always, forever. I pray for those that do not know you, may they find you and receive your blessings. Amen. Amen. And how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'd be glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. Do you know Jesus? If not, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. And talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. You know He's waiting for you. Seek Him now.